Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your TP-Link router. And before starting, if this video helps, please support me. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below. So, first thing you need to do is turn on the router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end into an outlet. and the other into the router. When the router is powered on, the light will turn on. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port usually has a different color and labeled as WAN. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you need to reset the router to the factory settings. Press and hold the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Until the indicator lights on the router begin to flash. Sometimes this button is located inside the router casing to avoid accidental pressing. In this case, use a thin object to press on it. The router will reboot and the settings will return to the factory defaults. Insert one end of the Ethernet cable that comes with the router into one of the Ethernet ports. and D the other into your computer's Ethernet port. Please wait a few minutes for connection. The router is now connected to your computer. Now you need to set it up. Before I start setting up the router, I need to warn you that depending on the firmware, some setup steps may differ slightly from mine or follow in a slightly different order. But don't worry, you'll succeed. Just follow the instructions. First, you need to download the TP-Link Deco app. This app is available in the App Store and Google Play Store. After installation, open the app. On the first screen, you need to accept TP-Link's terms and conditions. To do this, check this box here and here. and press the Continue button. Next, you need to log in to your TP-Link account. If you don't have one, then click this button and go through the registration process. If you already have a TP-Link account, then click here and enter your details. And then press the Login button. Next, you'll be asked to enable notifications for this app. I won't do that, so I'll press Don't Allow. On the next page, you can enable biometric access to make it easier for you to log in to your account. I'll turn it on. And press the Continue button. Now you'll be asked to set up two-factor authentication. I don't need it, so I'll press Maybe Later. Next, there will be a short guide on how to turn on your router. We've already done this, but you can double check to make sure everything is connected correctly. Next, you'll be asked to grant location service permission to keep you always connected. They require access to your device's location services. This allows them to seamlessly connect your mobile device to the Deco network when setting up Deco or updating network names. No geographical location information will be collected by the Deco app. Click this button. And in the pop-up window, allow location access. Then press the Let's Begin button. If your location services are turned off, you'll be asked to enable them. Please go to Settings and Enable Location. Location services are required during setup. After that, your phone will try to find your Deco device automatically. 
If it fails, then you need to scan a special QR code on your device. To do this, press this button. Then press this button. Give the app access to the camera. And press the Got It button. Find the special QR code on your device and scan it using the camera. Usually, this code is located on the bottom of the router. And if you don't have a QR code, then connect to the Wi-Fi network manually. The default network name is usually found on the back of the router. Regardless of the shape of the product label, make sure the entire label is visible within the viewfinder frame. After the device is found, press this button. The phone will try again to connect to the router. Next, choose the location where your deco device will be placed. The location will be used as this deco's name. If none of the options fit, then press the custom button and enter your own name. And press the next button. Wait a couple of minutes while the router tries to connect to the internet. On the next page, choose your internet connection type. This is usually specified in your contract with the internet provider. If you can't figure out your connection type, choose dynamic IP. This is the most common option. And press the next button. Next, you need to create your Wi-Fi network. In this field, enter the network name. And in this field, enter the password. The password must be at least eight characters long and press the next button. Wait a couple of minutes until the network starts working. Then reconnect to your Wi-Fi network with the new name and password. After connecting, press the next button. Next, you'll be offered to add more decos. Plug in the other included deco units, and these deco units will be automatically added to the network within two minutes. And press the Got It button. Now let's update your router's firmware. To do this, press this envelope in the upper right corner and find the new message saying that a new firmware is available. If there is no such message, it means you already have the latest firmware. But if there is, press the Upgrade Now button. Download firmware. And install the new firmware. Wait a few more minutes until all settings are saved. Done, you have set up your deco. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.